Hi, dear Libra. I'm Nicole, and welcome to your spiritual guidance for September 2017. So, dear Libra, we have the full moon in Pisces, and for you, dear Libra, it really is all about your routine. Where that's not working for you, I feel like spirit is going to be putting it on you to change, okay? Because then on your Virgo new moon for you, it is honoring that moment of spirituality, that need to just chill out and relax. So where you're feeling your routine is too much, it's going to come around the 6th of the month on the, the, the Pisces full moon, where you're doing too much, you're too busy. You might be working hard and not playing hard. Around the Virgo new moon for you, it's time to play a little bit. It's time for you to just kick back and meditate more. It's time for you to really take time out for you and really see um, the forest for the trees. Whereas on the Pisces full moon for you, it really feels more like just go, 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 work hard, work hard, work, work. Where's the play? Work, work. It just seems like there's too much. So where there is, it's out of balance. And I mean, it's like this, where it's out of balance, Spirit's going to be showing it to you. So watch out for any ailments that you're feeling on your body, muscles, tension spots in your back, headaches, migraines, all of that. Just slipping into a depression even. Just really being stressed out. Watch out for that energy around the Pisces full moon, okay? Things have been going really good as far as you having Jupiter in your energy. So sometimes, you know, with that, with opportunities just dropping from heaven for you, you might be overwhelmed with that. Well, you've got time to just zone out this month because you've got one more month with this beautiful, blessed energy being right in your everything, okay? Bringing you destined opportunities and that you can just grab. Now, this is if you've had that ability to see it and if you really stepped out on faith to grab it because Zeus puts it right there here's your opportunity right right here you've got to grab it it'll be right here but if you never grab it then it won't be yours so that type of energy if you've been grabbing it then you might be overwhelmed around the the, the full moon in Pisces so watch out for that any kind of um, nutritional imbalances, uh, exercise routines, physical fitness regimens that really can be tweaked about this time, this is the time to do it. If you feel like you haven't been working out like you should, if you're feeling it in your, uh, you know, in the way you, you move, if you feel a little sluggish, if you're not feeling as active or as fast or just as healthy as you normally would be, or if you want to, or as you want to be, I should say, then where you see that improvement can be made, Spirit's going to be really bringing that to you and really look at it because then you're able to really pour your energy into it to make those changes around the uh, Virgo new moon. So if you're seeing some kind of self-sabotaging, destructive energy in your routine, this is that time to really balance it out on the Virgo new moon on the 20th of the month, okay? Definitely, definitely. Look at, back to the, the Pisces full moon for you on the 6th, look at your... Uh, Look at your service to humanity. Look at what you do for others. Are you being taken for granted? Are you being taken advantage of? Are you, you know, needing to balance out uh, how much you do for others and how much you're receiving? You know, are you uh, not giving back enough? So where is that balance? Where can it be made? 
um, and your energy is all about trying to find that balance. So just know that don't beat yourself up about it at all. If you find that you haven't been giving or you haven't been receiving the way that you you feel you really should, for whatever reason, you know, circumstances, responsibilities, um, just being more into um, worldly pursuits versus spiritual pursuits. We all do it. We all get out of balance. So just center yourself, ground yourself, and take that minute to really, really, you know, have that mindful moment of how is my daily routine working for me and how is it not? Where are the changes that, you know, I can make? Your work environment. If it's not something you want to be doing, it's going to come up for you on the Pisces full moon. If you're doing work that you're going to, you know, frequently or infrequently, doesn't matter. If you're not satisfied, that's going to come up for you. If you're unemployed, then you're. this is a great time for you to really hone in on exactly what you want to do for a living. If you're moving into a career transition, great time on the Pisces full moon to let that stuff come up and let it let it out. Let that emotional understanding come out and say, you know what, I don't want to go back into corporate America. I know that I don't want to do that. If the work environment was toxic, I didn't want to work every single day. I want to work from home. I want to be in my spiritual based practice, whatever it is for you. And really allow spirit to show you what your next step is. Because your next step is what you're going to apply on the Virgo new moon for you. That energy is all about ending. So something is has come to an end and now you are manifesting on the Virgo new moon. This is all about um, the subconscious and karma. So where there's anything in the past that has brought you pain, now is the time to switch it around and to really go down that new path that you haven't given any consideration to. It'll be brand new. And it'll be the path that is less um, chaotic. It will be uh, pulling you away from the inner turmoil that you might be feeling on the 6th of the month towards the Pisces full moon, okay? So this is also a great time to understand how to let go of any fears, self-destructive um, behavior, skeletons in the closet. This is a time to blast those things out of the way and to start anew. So any self-injury or self-undoing, self-enclosed, um, when you're in a you're in a fence and you're just self-imposed. That's what I'm looking at. Self-imposed. Um, self-imposed behavior. Just things that you know no one really did anything to you, but you allow yourself to be um, exposed to kind of thing. Or just boxing yourself in to uh, a relationship, a mold a mindset. Now is the time to free yourself from that. Definitely. This is also going to be a time where you're just like, you know, I want to start fresh in the way people see me. This is really your, your hidden strengths coming out and uh, really recognizing that in yourself. So any talents that you have that you're not using at your job, this is going to be that time where you're going to say, oh, wow, you know, I never um, gave it that consideration, but I do love to do this, and I am good at that, and I and I should be making money at it. Or this is that um, the opposite of that weakness that you kind of were fearful of anybody seeing and, and letting other people know about you. Now there's a, there's a change in the air, and there's an understanding, dear Libra, that you are enough. And so, you know, you, I feel like you've got this, you know, screw you attitude. You know, I'm, I'm okay with that side of me because I know that it'll become a strength. That's what I really feel. And I feel like it's a good screw you kind of attitude. It's not malicious. It's not um, mean-hearted or mean-spirited. 
It really is filled with integrity because it's just like, you know what, I'm putting myself first in a healthy way now. And, you know, I'm really listening spiritually. I feel like that's where this is at. You know, this is your unredeemed karma. So really go in that path that you've been fearful of going in before because those hidden blessings are just waiting for you, okay? And again, where you have been feeling out of balance towards humanity, this is that time on the 20th to bring all those spiritually guided downloads from the 6th into um, your day-to-day, -day. so into your intentions, your incantations, your affirmations, and making those tangible steps forward to be of service in a healthy way on the 20th, the, the Virgo new moon. Health-wise, definitely look out on the 6th for any stomach upset. Listen to your intuition all the way on the 6th, especially around that time, okay? Your solar plexus is highlighted there, your intestines, your abdomen, and um, if you've been told that you have to have a colonic or, or a colonoscopy, anything like that, please get it looked at. Any constipation, diarrhea, look further and just make sure that you're looking out for your health. Also on the 20th, this is a time to really look at any physical pain at all anywhere okay anywhere um and look at different alternative ways to receive healing okay relief from that pain if your feet or your toes are bothering you look into a podi podiatrist um and see if they can offer any work that is pro pro bono a sliding scale anything like that you never know until you call you might just, if you have a wound or if you, um, you know, we we use a pumic stone on the back or pubic, pumic, pumic, pumic. Oh my gosh, Mercury is tripping me out. <laughs> pumic, pumic stone. It doesn't even sound right right now. It's probably the right word. Anyway, <clears throat> excuse me, when we, when we try to shave our heels down. Make sure that you're not going too close and that you're kind of watching that because your toes and your feet are highlighted. So just don't want you to go too far and uh, watch any pedicures. You know, if they're clipping a little too close and you get a little, um, you know, you get a little scrape there or a little cut, make sure you are letting it heal. If it's not healing right, look into it. In ingrown toenails also, those are horrible right oh my gosh they hurt so bad make sure you're getting that looked at okay so beautiful month for you dear libra you know do yourself lovely definitely a time to 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 really balance the work hard play hard energy this month and really take advantage of that unredeemed karma that you're going to be reaping on uh, the benefits benefits from on the 20th Okay, all right, so let's get started with your spiritually guided reading. Remember, this is for your sun, moon, rising, and cusp signs as well. Hi, dear Libra, I'm Nicole, and welcome to our spiritual guidance for September 2017. Let's take a deep breath in and raise our vibration, okay? Feels so good to do that. Okay, let me make sure this is good. Okay, let's call on Divine Source for your spiritual guidance. Thank you so much. Divine Source, thank you so much for thy love. Thank you so much for thy blessings. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Whoa, you got three right off the top. And that's what we wanted. So this is quick. 
So dear Libra, coming into September, there is a need, and I think this just came out. Who did this come out for? Make sure you're looking at your sun, moon, rising, and cusp signs, okay? Because if this is identical, if this is the identical spread that came out for any of your energies, that is extremely potent energy, and that's very powerful. I want you to pay close attention to September. There is a situation going on with a child, a uh, um, parental, parent-child relationship, rather, and you could be the father. It could be about the father of your child. You could be seeking that connection with a possible father figure. But knowing that, and also it could be the fact that you have daughter, father, or son, father issues that radiate back from childhood. And that's coming into the month of September because it's showing you to definitely love on yourself and get away from that that type of really stressful energy there and to remember that as a caregiver because I feel like you are that parent um, that you deserve to be cared for too but this is also an understanding of being a single parent and having to be that caregiver and taking care of yourself always okay that role between father and child is always meant to be unconditional love listen to your intuition if there's support that needs to happen in September spirit is telling you to look out for yourself what are your needs and to not get you know pulled into someone else's agenda love yourself and appreciate yourself and this is not only you know physical you know, going to get a massage or anything like that. But this is also giving yourself time to meditate, heal from any uh, stressful relationship issues here. And be reminded again that you have to focus your attention on yourself also, not only your child. These are children's hands here. And taking care of them is at the heart of who you are. But remember, listening to your intuition, you've got that energy here about what's most important. And you've got to love on yourself, getting yourself those meditation moments, reflection, just peace and quiet, just zoning out and watching comedy, whatever makes you laugh, whatever makes you feel most attractive, man or woman. And really making sure you feel fully supported mind body and soul for anyone that's pregnant be sure that you're being cared for if the father of your child or if you are the father and your your spouse or your significant other is pregnant make sure that you two are loving on each other that you're taking care of yourself as well thank you so much and remember that's personified as a caregiver if you don't have children, is this radiating back to your connection with your parents, with your father figure, with your father? And knowing that even if there was some dysfunction there between your relationship and your father or your father figure, that it is meant to be unconditional love. It was always meant to be that. And unfortunately, in the hands of human it can turn conditional and abusive. And to love on yourself, to know that none of that was your fault, and to release yourself, to heal yourself inside and out because you are pure, of the purest, no matter what, and deserve to be cared for. Thank you so much. If you don't know the father of your child, of, I mean, the, yeah, the father of your child, or if you don't know your father, this absolutely applies. I feel like this one. Whoa! You've got so much money coming in September. Woo! Libra. Honey, you've got your balancing energy here. You're receiving. Where is your energy? Oh, no wonder. Your energy is in the workhorse on the, on the Pisces full moon. Plus, 
Jupiter is in your sign. So you definitely, with the six of Earth, that's your ruling planet's number. The number six is Venus's number. And all of this material gain is balancing it out. So there's your scale. That is your astrological sign right there. So you're working it out. Your money your uh, is coming really from your effort. And this is a payoff. So where you're not feeling that around the full moon, this is going to be that time to really... I just feel like you're reaping the rewards, though, on the full moon. Something is coming to an end, and there's a payout, I feel. Where you're not feeling it, the Virgo new moon is in your spirituality. So it's going to be a time for you to honor yourself, right? And go in, go inside, deep inside with your connection with Source, and see where that imbalance is. This is new career opportunities, gifts of loans, payouts. Um, bonuses, could be financial aid, late taxes, inheritance, tips, definitely just say thank you. <laughs> you know, I have a problem with that too, but just saying thank you is such a test. And you, I just get so tickled when I say it. Because as a caregiver, we've got to learn how to say that. Just say thank you, because you deserve it. And so look at, on top of that, good news about financial matters. Wow. This is awesome. Going back to school, wanting to really, you know, up level your uh, your craft, your skills, your talent. And when you do that, boom, you are reaping the rewards this month. Awesome. You know, honey, this is the last month Jupiter is in your sign. You have to rock it out. Or not the last month. It's, it's, it leaves October, I think the second week of October. But this will be the last full month. Thank you so much. So you rock it right on out, dear Libra. You're being led on the right path, leading you toward the answers to your prayers. Please listen to and follow the steps I am communicating through your intuition, thoughts, and dreams. <clears throat> Excuse me. What did they say about the father and child relationship? Listen to your intuition. There's your intuition being highlighted. And there's your intuition being highlighted. So being practical, being generous to yourself and others. Don't forget, you got to have that balance, dear caregiver. Okay? Because that blessing is right on the horizon. Woo! That looks fantastic for you. Just opportunities being offered to you, self-employment, new clients, new overtime, new job opportunities, interviewing goes well this month. <clears throat> Excuse me, dear Libra. And you're being led to that pathway. You've got your babies. You're taking them with you. This is awesome. This is a, a family payout. Remember to take care of yourself. Some of you might be separating from the father of your children. Um, or you might be changing that dynamic of the relationship. Starting over. Mm. Okay. So there's some lies that some hurtful lies, the kind that really are mean that have happened for some of you. Mm. Okay. Oh, whoa. Okay. So, honey, you're not alone. Remember that you're not a one woman, one man island. There's some lies that have really hurt. And cry out to God. Call on God. Because these are, this is sledgehammer hurt. Because you're that fragile. As a fragile egg. And so you're feeling the truth in the situation that's on your soul right now. And very vulnerable. So love on yourself. Because this is abuse of volatile, angry energy. It's not healthy. And you're being guided to seek professional help, dear Libra. 
begin healing through reconnecting your relationship with the most high okay if you're feeling like this your spirit guides are around you and reminding you that they are your family in comfort during this difficult time your angels are sent by the most high to hug you and love you through each moment you feel like breaking down you call on god cry out to god talk to god and fall back in love with the most high because this person is not for you it's forbidden there could be a tremendous age difference there could be that that volatile angry energy toxic energy abusive energy but spirit is reminding you of the power over your physical attraction this you don't have to force love from anybody if it's conditional it's forced the attraction is strong between you two that but it's not in divine timing it can be at a later date it could be that type of connection that's not for you right now they could be married you could be married call on divine source for patience and spiritual understanding and move on knowing you're being pulled away for the right reasons because you have to honor your knees right now now Libra I've been there I have been there and when spirit tells you to do this you are focusing on you now not on this person honor your needs in a healthy way your energy is changing and so are your needs dear Libra putting yourself first is a positive thing it's a healthy balance in your relationship life it's time for you to focus on the different ways you can receive love through healthy connections thank you so much for our dear Libras thank you no I feel this one this one just said hi find your respite your place of peace place of comfort and recharge this month well thank you so much dear Libras please like comment subscribe share our channel honey you're the reason why I'm here on YouTube and I thank you so much I'll see you very soon Mwah.